And the facts are that Iran's savage record flatly contradicts Wuhanese soothing rhetoric. Last Friday, Wuhani assured us that in pursuit of its nuclear program, Iran, this is a quote, Iran has never chosen deceit and secrecy. Never chosen deceit and secrecy. Well, in 2002, Iran was caught, red-handed, secretly building an underground centrifuge facility in Natanz. And then, in 2009, Iran was again caught red-handed, secretly building a huge underground nuclear facility for uranium enrichment in a mountain near Qom. Wuhani tells us uh, not to worry. He assures us that all of this is not intended for nuclear weapons. Any of you believe that? Why would a country with vast natural energy reserves invest billions in developing nuclear energy? Why would a country intent on merely civilian nuclear programs continue to defy multiple Security Council resolutions and incur the tremendous cost of crippling sanctions on its economy? And why would a country with a peaceful nuclear program develop intercontinental ballistic missiles whose sole purpose is to deliver nuclear warheads. You don't build ICBMs to carry TNT thousands of miles away. You build them for one purpose, to carry nuclear warheads. And Iran is building now ICBMs that the United States says could reach this city in three or four years. Why would they do all this? The answer is simple. Iran is not building a peaceful nuclear program. Iran is developing nuclear weapons. A nuclear-armed Iran in the Middle East wouldn't be another North Korea. It would be another 50 North Koreas. Now, I know that some in the international community think I'm exaggerating this threat. Sure, they know that Iran's regime leads uh, these chants, death to America, death to Israel, that it pledges to uh, wipe Israel off the map. But they think that this wild rhetoric is just bluster for domestic consumption. Have these people learned nothing from history? The last century has taught us that when a radical regime with global ambitions gets awesome power, Sooner or later, its appetite for aggression knows no bounds. That's the central lesson of the 20th century. And we cannot forget it. The world may have forgotten this lesson. The Jewish people have not. Three decades.